welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a Hummel, it's a tier 6 German SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Fisherman's Bay and it's under the command of Major Nuisance. Yes, I'm afraid this is one of my replays in one of my alter egos, Major Nuisance. And the game started. Well, it's a 15 centimetre howitzer mounted on a hull that actually comes from a Panzer IV with some Panzer three bits in it. Now that's the top gun, I can tell you that because it's the long barrel one. If it's the short barrel one, we would know that this was the stock gun. And this means that this arty can fire over the entire range of the map near enough. But we only got 18 rounds to play with and you can see I'm lining up the first shot for the bushes right near the top of the center line. Somebody nearly always goes up there. I fire around in and doesn't appear to be any hits, so I'm changing position. Just in case I was spotted. Get a better angle on the tanks that are attacking through the town. But I've changed bushes. There you go. And I'm now aiming for the same spot again. But this time around, I'm going to aim for that gap. And oh, a strip's turned up. Strip 74 and a Cromwell B. And an E25 has gone around the corner and he gets around, just lands near him for 85 hit points, overshot, landed the other side of him, but it stunned him. And I've marked him as target so that the other teammates know that that's where the one I'm going to go for. I've lost sight of him, he's hiding behind the building, so I can't hit him at the moment, almost reloaded. Reload time's about 22, 23 seconds, I've got a BIA crew on this one. Rounds out in the strip. Direct hit on him. Wipes him out. He got hit just before my shell arrived. And that lowered his hit points enough to take him out of the game. So, first kill of the game goes to me. Okay, Cromwell B. Changing position. He's still behind those buildings. Not loaded yet, but will be soon. There's the E25 again. I'm going to try and plant the shell near him to splash him. Rounds out. Oh, hit the building instead. Now, a lot of people don't like the, the Hummel. They think it's uh, a terrible tank. But actually, in fact, with the stock gun, it can be incredibly accurate. The stock gun actually is the top gun from the Gorilla, the tier 5 German SPG. It's very accurate. Rounds out in the Oni. Takes a direct hit for 233 and one critical hit. And since he was still moving, it wasn't the tracks that I damaged. It must have been something else. And he goes down. So I've picked up some stun assist, I think. E25 is now very low on hit points. If I can get him, it's a splash kill. Got to work out where he's going to go. Oh, we lost sight of him, so I'm not going to be able to go for him again. We've got a VK4502A, and I've marked him as target to let my teammates know what I'm going for. Always useful to do that, to let your teammates know where you're going. They might be able to plan an attack the moment after the shell goes in, and the VK has been stunned. That will slow his reaction time down. I'm still indicating target. I'm going to try and get another round into him. Most of the action seems to be going on the west side of the battlefield. I've mocked him again. Almost loaded. Rounds out. Direct hit. 177 hit points and I think it tracked him. Yes, it did track him. He's taking damage. And he's gone. So I picked up a load of stun assist there. Or damage assist. I think it was stun assist. Okay, we're looking for a T20 over somewhere by that rock. Mark the target. Let my teammates know where I'm aiming. Rounds out on that corner. No. Oh, he's been killed. The a T40 was there. And the T40 was killed just after my shell went in. So I, I possibly, I stunned him. And the Scorpion then got the kill on him. There's the T20. The E25 just goes down to our Centurion. T20's repeat it, re retreating. And he's taking a lot of damage. He's gone. We're now five tanks up on the enemy. 
and an IS-4, no, an IS-3A is trying to make his way through the town, so I'm targeting him next. He's trying to come around that corner, going after the Striv 74. I'll try and help him. Rounds out on the IS-3 and I get a direct hit. But unfortunately, we lose the Striv. But the IS-3 is now a one-shot. And he's killed. Black Prince got him. So we're now still five tanks ahead on the enemy. The Striv goes down. That was the Striv M4257, I think, or was it... Um, no, I think it was the Striv S1. Now we're going for the Striv M4257. And that just destroys the building. But the Striv was killed immediately afterwards. So I might have picked up some stun assist now. There's only five enemy tanks left. Two RT, a Hummel and an SU-8. A Hellcat, a Jagdpanther and an FV4202. There's the Hellcat. And the Jagdpanther. So I'm almost ready to shoot. Dialing in. Almost ready to go. Rounds out. Oh, and the panther goes down, but the shell falls short anyway. It wouldn't have hit him. Going for the Hellcat instead. Marking the target. The, the team like that. When they see the targets, they all seem to focus on the same target at once. And then, bang, the target goes down. There's only that FV4202 and the Hummel and the SU-8 left. And people are indicating grid square A7 and A8. I'm aiming for the bushes, thinking they're going to be up there. Oh, no, there's the Hummel. My opposite number. Rounds out on him. It was, wasn't was fully dialed in. But it did stun him. And I got the stun assist. So we're now looking for just the FB4202. I'm wondering, he's probably not in those bushes. Yes, he's down on the water side. There he is. And he's trying to defend against that T28 HTC. Going to try and stun him. Rounds out. It stuns him. Splashes him. He's taking damage. And he's gone. That's it. End of battle. So, a fairly quick battle. Only one kill for me, but it was the first kill of the game. And let's have a look at the end of battle stats and see how well we got on. And it's an ace tanker for Major Nuisance in the Hummel. In fact, this was the first ace tanker I got in the Hummel on this account. I also picked up a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. I got eight in that one. And I got a Confederate medal for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on my team. At least six tanks subsequently taken out by others. And yes, I did damage that Striv M4257. He was hiding behind the house. He got stunned. And I actually did some actual damage to him during that uh, that game. I was wondering about that one. And uh, yes, uh, I damaged, certainly damaged the FB4202 and picked up a load of stun assist off him too. So quite a, a, a um, nice little game for me in terms of earnings, but I only got a win 8 of 2086 out of it, which is still good, but not perfect. Team score, I was third on the table on my team, but actually fourth overall on damage. The top scorer was T34 Black. He managed to get 2,615 hit points. The Lurva managed 1,972 uh, uh, then came the Striv S1 with 1478, and then I came with 1311. When it came to uh, kills, it was the T34 Black again. He managed to get three kills. The T28 HTC got two, so did Centurion, Scorpion G, and the Box Tank. I only managed to get the one kill during that game, but I was the only person who actually picked up a medal during that game as well, which is surprising. And when it came to base XP, yes, at the top of the table, I was hitting more of the enemy than anyone else, of course. I was picking up loads of stun assist off that, which boosted my XP score. I got 1,054 base XP, 962 for the Lerva, 939 for the T-34 Black. 13 shots fired, 4 direct hits, no penetration, 10 splash. Damage of 1,311 hit points, and all of it was at more than 300 meters. I damaged 8 of the enemy, killed 1 of them, and did 1,926 hit points of stun assist off 8 stuns. On a free play account, this is one of the free play ones that I have, um, I actually managed 38,653 credits, which is not bad for a free to play on tier 6. And uh, after ammunition resupply, still took away a profit of 24,093 credits. And I picked up one bomb for getting the Confederate. 
Base XP of 1,054, plus times two for the first victory, 274 for completing mission and events, took home 2,382 altogether. And I said when it comes all comes together, well, I was just saying that it, it all seemed to be working. Every time I indicated a target, the team was shooting at it, which is what you want. If you indicate a target once you've stunned it, then the enemy, uh, your teammates, should earn a lot of stun assist for you, and that's what generates the ace tankers. And I nicely picked up my first one on this game, which is quite enjoyable. If you enjoyed that replay, please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.